Drugs, fighting, and vandalism. Frustrated residents living next to Kapolei High School say they've been dealing with that for years. Those frustrations came to a head this week when a large brawl broke out between students. They say they've had enough, so Elisa Arevalo asked if anything can finally be done. Elisa? Joe, neighbors tell me they feel helpless and don't know what to do anymore. So I reached out to City Councilwoman Kimberly Pine, who told me she's taking action. Many people I spoke with didn't want to go on camera out of fear of retaliation, but resident Sonny Gay says enough is enough. Before school, we sit down there about an hour. And what do you guys do? Uh, just, just watch them. Uh, it used to be worse. They used to congregate and smoke marijuana there. I take their pictures. I didn't come here to live here to work on the street every day. But Sonny says it's needed to keep students from fighting and committing crimes on their street. We have to used to have kids congregating here, smoking cigarettes, talking loud, sometimes having sex in their cars here. Yeah. This is the cul-de-sac where I'm told the fights have been happening for years. Neighbors here tell me they've tried to break them up, but they've either been injured themselves or retaliated against afterwards. I, I get people that come into my, my residence and say, hey, uh, I said, what do you want? Uh, you the guy calling the cops. Another resident says his car has been keyed and had eggs thrown at his property. Sonny fears someone will end up seriously hurt or even dead before someone addresses the problems. It shouldn't be that way. You know, this is not a, a boxing arena. I asked Councilwoman Kimberly Pine about what's being done. And I'd like to call the two principals of the school to see if we can start to promote these discussions between students. Uh, it really sounds like we need to start it at that level. Still, Pine says it's everyone's responsibility. The Leeward Coast, we have so many issues that we have to deal with, and we need to stick together. But the community has got to get involved because these are their kids. I'm told police are called out often to this area, but the kids are usually gone by the time an officer makes it on scene. Neighbors tell me some residents are also considering legal action. Joe, back to you.